Greetings and salutations folks, my name is Sunny and in this video I'm going to tell you about the pieces from my Diva cosplay that I wore at Comic Con last week. It looks like I have a lot of washing up to do but those are just biodegradable bowls. There's hot chocolate all over here as well. Most of these pieces actually came from Wish and I was really pleasantly surprised at how they actually turned out. Some of the stuff I've had to alter or deal with problems with so I'm going to just tell you about all of them. Let's get straight in it with the gun. This was from Wish and it arrived snapped in half. Inside it was this white stuff that looks somewhere between cement and polystyrene. It's, it's really light though, I have no idea what's inside this, it might be really toxic, but it's really comfortable to hold. One problem I had was the texture of it was really rough because this is just made of wood. So it was really rough here, like it should have. I should have sanded it, but I coated it with some varnish because it kept catching on my costume where my hand is. Um, so I coated it a few times with this. That's just the varnish that I use for my polymer clay stuff behind. And it worked fine, it's a lot smoother now, but if you want it to be perfect, you're gonna have to sand it. So it arrived snapped in half. It wasn't packaged horribly, it was nicely bubble wrapped, but they hadn't put anything in the join here. I went and I told Wish um, that it was broken and they said, can you send a picture? And I sent a picture and they gave me my money back straight away, which I was quite happy with, but I did manage to touch it up. I glued it back together, I had to paint some of the black around it and then I did the varnish. So it ended up absolutely fine. There's lots of imperfections, but it was perfect still. It worked. It doesn't work, it's not a real gun. So under my costume, I was wearing this. I didn't actually have high hopes for this. Um, I've seen them on Wish, but I bought mine on eBay. I bought this in large beige, it says, and it was 5.92. But the problem I had with this is that you could see the holes through the suit. So I ended up buying some skin colour opaque tights that I could wear over the top of this and it helped a little bit but I honestly don't think anybody noticed these holes. I didn't need to wear this because I'm not that out of shape. I would have been fine without this but I actually found when I was wearing this, although it didn't give me a totally flat tummy, it helped my posture. When I was wearing this I found myself sitting and standing like this which I never do. This just feels wrong. I'm a gamer so I do this. I'm always like this can concentrate harder and it's got plastic bones which don't really do a lot except stop it from stretching too much this way it keeps it in shape like that what I will say as well though you will feel it at the sides here like it will get a bit sore your actual skin will feel a bit sore I also found that the tights over the top kept me slightly warmer when we were outside for a long time the order I actually found best to get ready the first thing was my makeup which I never do, I never wear makeup, I don't like it. So I didn't wear any foundation because I don't like the feel of it. I didn't wear eyeshadow because it tends to crease. I didn't want to keep having breaks to, to top it up and deal with it. So I didn't wear any, I just had eyeliner and mascara. I had white on, shut up. I put white eyeliner on my waterline on the bottom just to make me look a bit cuter, which didn't actually make any difference, I don't think. And then slight wing here. I'm not a makeup person so you'll be able to do better than me anyway. And then I curled my lashes and put mascara only on the top ones. I didn't do it on the bottom. I found putting them on the bottom made my eyes look slightly smaller, which I didn't want. And then I did these face tattoos. I found when I did the test, I did the tattoos before the makeup. When I'm putting makeup on, I sort of want to lean here. So I ended up doing it the other way around properly. And these tattoos are so good. The face tattoos. I so recommend these over makeup. I know some people sort of draw it on but I am a sweaty bastard. I, I sort of don't think about what I'm doing which is another reason I don't really like to wear makeup. But these were perfect. Not only did they stay the entire time but they didn't require serious scrubbing to get off. I found myself, I did that suit sometimes and I'm like oh my god I've just ruined my face haven't I and it didn't even smudge it in the slightest bit. And I got them on eBay for £3.50 for six pairs and they came from China so they take a little while to get here so make sure you get them in advance and I bought loads because I knew I'd be making mistakes and wanting to take them off. I just used makeup remover to take them off and then I washed my face again so that it was completely clear to try it again. But I found generally it looked fine and even if it was the tiniest bit uneven you're really not going to notice it when the full costume's on. It's certainly not going to notice it in pictures because you don't tend to look straight on. And what I tended to do was cut them out as even as I can and then cut them in half and line them up on my face 
so that I could try and get it as neat and even as possible and that's another reason it's good to have so many spares because you can keep doing it until you're happy. So makeup, tattoos, then the wig. My goodness this wig was, oh, I love it so much. It was from Wish and I've seen loads of videos of people trying on wigs from Wish but this one, it's so good. I mean the quality of it is so good. It feels really real and it's not too shiny that it looks ridiculously fake. I mean my natural hair looks faker but it's got a slightly reddish undertone. She doesn't have red hair but I think it works. Like look here is me just pissing around on the webcam when I did my test before the convention. I ended up cutting the fringe of this wig because it just wasn't quite right. It was a little bit too long and it was a little bit too emo, you know. But I ended up buying a second one of this same wig just in case it on the day it wasn't right. I've got a fresh one to start again with and cut it again. But it did end up being fine, the original one that I cut. The length was just right for my, my height, I found. It was just falling in the right place. Um, I used the big comb to comb it. You don't want a little one because it's going to pull out too much and on the inside it was surprisingly comfortable I used the wig cap that has the net because that means I can secure any bits with pins if I need to but it stayed completely secure through the day I didn't get a massive headache that a lot of people warned you can do with wigs but I put my natural hair I wrapped it around my head with pins and then I put the wig cap on and I just secured it all down and then I ended up putting the wig on backwards sort of tip in my head which I found slightly easier to do than what I used to do was sit upright and then sort of try and put it on like that which isn't as easy it's easier to flick your hair and then deal with the mess the wig was from Wish and it doesn't tell me how much I paid for it so I can only check what it's currently at 11 pounds with six pounds shipping which is a great price for what it was and mine did come with the wig cap that I ended up using now for the headset and this was a part that was okay, it did. I mean, it's it's really big when you put it on and it slides all over the place. So what I ended up doing worked perfectly. So on the parts that rest just slightly above the ears, I've had bobby pins and I secured them to the plastic with brown tape. It didn't budge at all. I thought it might catch on the hairs, pull some out, and I thought the pin might slide out of the tape. But nothing like that happened and it worked absolutely perfectly it just secured into my wig and it didn't slide around at all without the pins if you put your head forward it just falls onto the floor but with them in you can shake your head around and it doesn't move it's just that the quality of the headset is a bit rubbish i've seen people with the really good ones and i've seen the official headphones which i considered buying but i've heard that they can be uncomfortable and they've also got a wire that i would have to cut off or hide I don't remember how much I paid for the headset but at the moment it's £14 with £8 shipping which feels quite expensive because it's just cheap wood and plastic. Uh, another thing I will say is at the, right at the end of the day I felt it on my ears pushing like here because the wig cap was behind my ears and the headset it wasn't tight it's just you sort of feel it after a while. So there were a couple of occasions when I took them off and just sort of had a break with taking the headset to the convention as well I was a little worried about snapping it so I wrapped it in bubble wrap and in the middle I put a roll of bubble wrap so that it meant if anything were to bash it on the sides it's not going to affect it. As for the actual bodysuit it says here £29 with £10 shipping and I'm sure I paid in total £30 that sounds about right. 40 does feel a bit expensive for this however it was perfect absolutely perfect I'm a bit of a chubby girl and I'm about 5'7 I bought XL and this fit me just so perfectly there was just I could move completely comfortably I wasn't sweating I could s sit and move and jump and everything it's it was a perfect suit and the way that it sort of shaded just in the right places another thing that surprised me I thought there might be an issue with the with the mm-hmm Mm -hmm. but there wasn't there wasn't it wasn't it never once I never had to mine one issue I did have was because of the convention I had to have the wrist altered and zips put in them so that meant I could take my hands out and 
put my weekend wristband on my wrist. When I bought this, it was just sort of like a let's have a laugh. When I put it on, I thought I have to go to a convention wearing this. It just looks so good. And even though I'm totally, I am absolutely nothing like Diva, I'm this lumbering British, slightly masculine looking chick. Not a teeny cute Korean, but it worked. It actually looked good. In my suitcase that I brought, I drove to the con so that I could take it however I want anyway. If you're on the train, you're going to need to be careful, or if you're, going, if you're flying to a convention, you're going to have to be really careful with how you package things. I put my stuff in boxes and padded them up. Like, I had bubble wrap around my gun, and I secured it nicely in this box, and I had a spare costume wrapped up in a bag underneath it. Everything was protected, and nothing broke. So, the shoes. I did have a bit of a problem with the shoes. Oh, they say sold out. How are they fucking sold out? Oh, maybe they're broken. The first is the sizing. I'm a UK women's seven, generally. And the sizes they had listed, it said UK something. So in the drop down menu, I decided to choose size eight. I wanted them to be slightly bigger. And the sizes went up to like size 11. So I figured they were unisex shoes. They were gonna be slightly big anyway. So I thought choosing size eight was gonna be massive, but it ended up being ever so slightly tight. I wanted to wear really thick socks so that I would have a bit of comfort when I'm walking. But these, with just regular socks, were a little tight. Like it says here in my receipt, size 10, which I think is an American size. Because I definitely chose UK 8. It says £32, but that's not including postage, which it doesn't say here because I've got a whole basket of diva stuff. I got in touch with them and I said, Do you know what's the deal with these sizes? I'm sure I bought UK 8. And these are a little small on my women's 7 feet. And they instantly just said, oh gosh, I'm sorry, can you send a photo? And I was like, I don't know how a photo is going to help you explain this to me. I sent them a photo of them and they said, oh, okay, here's your money back. Okay. Yeah. So I went back to the same shop and I bought size 11.5. The other one was 10 and this is 11.5. They arrived really late. I think I got my money back for these as well because the tracking said it has arrived in Texas. Some house in Texas had it. So I said, it's definitely not at my house. And then about three days later, they arrived here at my house. So I just thought, oh, okay then. So I ended up getting these for free, technically. The size, again, it was only slightly bigger than the previous shoes, but they looked a little worse. These ones looked like men's shoes, like the bottom wasn't as sort of healed, but the, the other ones were shaped nicer. And this second pair also smelled really strongly of like varnish or paint. And the smell didn't go away, like even now, it's still there a little bit. Still not quite right, but I got them for free, so it wasn't too bad. And I ended up wearing the bigger ones at the convention, and I brought with me those insoles that I had in my Wish haul. But I didn't end up using those insoles in the shoes in the traditional way. What I actually did, when I got up on the second day, my feet hurt so much. I'd been in cosplay all day on the Friday. And when I woke up on the Saturday, I had compression socks on, you know, the flight socks. I've also got restless leg syndrome, so this sort of helped get the get my legs working a little bit. But they still hurt so much when I walked. On the on my heel, it was like in hostel when his ankle gets cut. It just hurt so flipping much. I ended up cutting up the insole and using it on my ankle. I also had plasters, but I found just wearing the plasters wasn't thick enough. But this did the job perfectly. This amount of cushioning on my ankle meant I could walk fine that day. The way that your ankle goes when you step, there was a piece that was sort of cutting in the way that the shoes had folded, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't recommend buying these shoes, but I know it's tricky because there is not a lot available. I saw some slightly different ones on eBay, but they had a heel and I don't wear heels. I needed to bring my folder that had my autograph stuff in, my tickets, water, all of that sort of stuff. So I, br I bought a backpack from Etsy, which didn't take anything away from the outfit. And I made a Moira friend who had an Animal Crossing one, so it was instant sisters. This was just right. It fits the A4 folder. It didn't take anything away from the outfit. It didn't draw too much attention. One thing I will say is the zip sticks a lot. So I was only really able to open one zip and it took lots of attempts a lot of the time. If you were at the convention, can you tell me were London Spitfire ever out of their shirts? Were they ever dressed in sort of regular clothes? Because one of the, on the, the Friday, I was approached by 
some people that I'm sure were them, a few of them, and they didn't really speak English, so it sort of made my mind go, oh my god, did I just, you know what I mean? Ugh. Did I not realise at the time? I don't know. But the amount of times I was asked for pictures, it made me feel so lovely, because this is the first time I've ever done any sort of cosplay. I wanted to start with something easy, and this ended up being just the right level of comfort and re recognisability? Recognisability? I actually do have a cosplay in mind for whatever my next convention is, but I don't know if it's going to work. I've bought a wig and we're going to see if it works. If it doesn't work, it's fine. Thank you to anybody that I made friends with at the convention. Thank you to anybody that asked me for photos. Stop to talk to me. I was I went to the convention alone, but I wasn't alone. It was loads of fun, and I'm sure I'll see you guys at future conventions. It's weird how something as simple as dressing up as a character can make you good friends. Thank you guys for watching press like, subscribe, do all of that sort of usual stuff. If there's anything I've left out, any questions you have, please ask them because I'm sure there are some important things that I've left out. Go and check out the video I've made on my experience of the convention as diva. And I've also got a video on Japanese snacks that should be quite funny, so you can watch that if you want to as well. Bye! No! You just look sort of white and fucking stuttering! What should I say next? Uh. What am I doing? Can you fuck off?